Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Olawo Mobile Wiz Tech, and welcome back to another episode of Wiz Tech Tip Tuesday. Today's tip will be about how to get rid of that steady, blinking, or solid yellow status light on your Wise Cam and how to get it back online. And I'll jump right in right after this. Please consider subscribing to my channel by hitting that subscribe and the notification bell button. That way you can always stay informed whenever I post new content on my channel. The first thing that you're going to do is unplug your Wise Cam. Unfortunately, I've already applied the fix to my Wise Cam, so I won't be able to show you the blinking or solid status light here. I actually had a solid status light and my wise cam always showed offline, but I can still walk you through on the process. There are a few things that you would need in order to put this fix into place. You will need the wise cam that's giving you the issue, meaning that it's offline all the time, or it has that yellow blinking or solid status light, and it's power plug and cable, and you'll also need a computer, a micro SD card, and make sure that there's nothing on it because it's gonna be a file that you will need to place in a micro SD card. It has to go in the root of that micro SD card and it has to have no other file but that file in it. And you'll also need the adapter for it. Now I'm going to head over to my computer monitor. That way you can see what file I am referring to that needs to go on your micro SD card. This is the site that you will get that file that I was referring to. And of course the link will be posted in the description section but you will go to this site and then you'll scroll down here where it says Wise Firmware. Then you're gonna find your Wise Cam version. I have the pan or well, the Wise Cam pan. So what I'm gonna do is go over here and click the drop down arrow. And then this is the latest firmware version. So that's what you need for your Wise Cam version. Make sure you click on that top file. So again, it depends on what version you have. If you have the Wisecam version one or version two, you do the same thing I'm doing here by again, clicking the drop down arrow and then going to the top to choose the latest firmware version. And you would just click here and that's gonna download a zip file. And this is what you need to unzip this file right here. Then you're gonna copy this file here from the zip onto your micro SD card. So just simply slide that in there and then stick this into your computer. Now what you need to do once you have this copied over to your micro SD card. Okay, I've already done so just in case you were looking here. This is not my micro SD card. I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. So pretend this is my micro SD card. You're going to now just go ahead and see where it states demo underscore and the numbers dot bin you're going to rename it and all you're doing is removing the numbers and the underscore and you're going to leave the dot bin there so just go ahead and select everything besides demo dot bin then tap delete or press delete so now the file is named demo dot bin and this what should be on the roots or in the root of your micro SD card and nothing else. And then once you're done with this, you can go ahead and eject your micro SD card out of the computer and then head over back to your wise cam. Now, once you have this file on your micro SD card, you can go ahead and eject your micro SD card from the computer and then head over back to your Wise cam. Now you're going to go ahead and remove your mini SD card out of the adapter and go ahead and insert it into your Wise cam. Oh, it actually goes in this way. Now you're going to insert it into your Wise cam. The next step is to press and hold the setup button down and you're going to continuously hold it down while plugging in your charge cable. Now you may have to turn 
the stand over so you can have a better access to plug it in. But that's what you're going to do while you're holding it down. Just plug it in. I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to go through the whole process again, but I will walk you through. But you're going to plug this in. Now, once you have that plugged in, continuously hold it down. And you should see your either solid yellow light or blinking light for the status. And eventually you're going to see the yellow and blue light on. And once you see that yellow and blue light on, you can go ahead and place your wise cam down and just wait approximately three to four minutes and eventually it's going to turn off and then it's going to turn back on and then once it turns back on you should be good to go it's all set pretty much going to keep all of the settings that it had before and you're going to be good to go you can go ahead and place it where it was before and then you're going to notice that it's going to show up online on the app and that's it those are the simple steps to get your Weiss cam back online or AKA unbrick it. And that's going to be it for today's episode of Wiz Tech Tip Tuesday. I thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. Also, share it out and comment below. Until next time, keep it mobile.